Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing the problem D that is triangle coloring from educational code forces around 143 that was rated for Dev 2. Now this is actually a very easy problem. I was not uh, hoping that this would uh, this kind of a problem would be at D. It actually seemed uh, more easier to me than the problem C itself. So let's get started with the problem. I'll not be going through the description of the question so as to save your time. I really hope that you have already gone through the question once before you are actually watching this video. So with that, let's get started. So let me give you some insights on this question. So now what the question wants is that you will be give, uh, given a graph. Now the special thing about this graph is that it is in form of triplets. So it would be in form of these kind of triplets, right? So when I say triplets, uh, uh, triplet basically means that three connected vertices. Also the number of triplets would be even, right? So this won't be a valid graph, but this would be a valid graph because now we have four triplets. Or in other terms, the number of vertices would be divisible by 6 because the number of vertices has to be divisible by 3 because it's forming triplets and there are even number of triplets. So n is divisible by 6. Cool. After that, they, have, they are saying that every edge would actually have a weight. So this is, let's say, w1, this is w2, this is w3, this is w4, this is w5, this is w6, w7, w8, w9. You get the drill, I guess. Cool. Now we have to color the nodes with either black or blue. So let's say I color this particular node blue and I color this not black and blue, but uh, blue and red, right? So I colored this particular node blue. This is this has red. This is red. Now over here, I am having two uh, two uh, two edges, right? Which connect vertices of different color. So this vertex right over here, this vertex and this vertex, right? They are of different colors. So I'll add the score, uh, the weight of this particular edge that was W1 to my answer. Right. Also, this vertex and this vertex are a different color, so I also add W3. So the score of this particular triplet would be actually W1 plus W3. Now let's say I color this as blue, this is uh, red, this is blue. So over here, this particular uh, edge and this particular edge right over here, these are connecting vertices of different colors, so I'll add W5 and W6. In this way, we'll be adding the weights, right? And we'll be getting uh, some value. So let's call it val. Now we want to maximize the uh, value itself. So that is one task, but this is actually a very easy task. I'll tell you why. But what they want is uh, want us to uh, calculate is that how, in how many ways can we get this uh, maximum value? Now, what is the how many ways? So let's say we, are, we were coloring it by blue, red, and red like this. So this is node one node 2 and node 3 we could have already also covered it as red 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 right so this this is one of the ways this is a second way the third way could have been blue 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 right then we could have a blue blue red like something like this blue blue red right in total since uh, it has three nodes so 2 to power 3 combinations are available because we can color blue or red to uh, blue or red on any of the node so we have to tell them in how many ways we can obtain the maximum answer. Cool. So that's the question. Now let's discuss the intuitions. So since I'm given a triplet, I can say that I always want to color it with, uh, I always want to color two nodes with the same color and one of the nodes with the other color. Now, why is that the case? Because I wanted to want to maximize my score, right? And to maximize the score, uh, I would be selecting those word, uh, those uh, edges only which are correcting different uh, nodes with different colors. So over here, let's call it blue, blue, red, right? If that's the case, then I'll, I'll be able to select uh, this particular vertex right over here and this particular vertex right over here, right? In every other scenario, so what are the remaining scenarios? The remaining scenario is that every node is colored with the same, uh, every node is colored same, right? So if it were red, 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 I would not have added any, uh, any, uh, any edge to the answer. Cool. So it's obvious that I want to color each vertex or two of the vertex with the same color and one of the vertex with the other color. Cool enough. So how do we determine the total number of possibilities? Now, one thing is that if you are coloring, let's say this node as blue, blue, red, or this triplet as blue, blue, red, right? So you have already consumed two blues and one reds. Now let's say this uh, uh, this graph actually had two triplets, so you'll also have to color the other triplet. 
However, one more constraint given the question is that exactly n by 2 nodes need to be colored with the blue color and n by 2 nodes need to be colored with the red color. So over here, since you have already colored two nodes with blue and one node with red, you will have to color two nodes with red and one node with blue, right? So over here, you could have said that in this case, I was able to uh, like able to give so let's call it w1 w2 w3 so then my score was w1 plus w2 right and let's say now i color this as red blue blue right okay so red red blue sorry because two blues are already done so i have to cover right so in in this case i'll be adding this so uh, this let's say this is w3 w4 w5 so i'll be adding w3 and w4 to my answer now let's say this is the best answer available. So what W1 plus W2 plus W4, sorry. Okay, this is four, this is five, this is six. Really sorry. Yeah, so W4 plus W5 was the best answer possible. Cool. So I can say that I can swap the colors now. So over here, instead of BBR, BBR, I could have written it as R, r and b right if i had made it as rrb i would have to swap the colors over here as well right or i'll have to toggle the colors over here as well so as to generalize what i can say is that if i am having n by 3 triplets right if i'm having n by 3 triplets so let's call n by 3 as x cool so i have having x triplets in total now out of this x triplets x by 2 triplets would be having two blues and one reds right and x by 2 triplets wouldn't be having uh, one blue and two reds so in order to calculate the possibilities of doing this i can simply say ncr or over here ncr would actually mean x c x by 2 or in the other terms x is n by 3 so it can be n by 3 c n by 6 so this is the number of ways we can actually toggle the colors and actually get the same output cool now what's the other scenarios that we have to look out for so one possibility is that let's say uh, this particular edge and this edge. let's try to give some values to them let's say this has the value 8 this has the value 8 this has the value 6 in that case definitely you'll be uh, adding these two edges right so there's no other possibility of doing this now let's change it a bit now let's say all these three edges were actually having a weight 8, right? In that case, if I'm supposed to provide it with two reds and one blues, right? Two reds and one blues, right? So I can say that I can arrange it in whatever way I want. So even this would give me a value answer 16. Now let me make it red, let me make it blue. Even the, then the answer is 16. Now let me make it red and let me make it blue. Even then the answer is 16. So basically, I can color any of those nodes with a blue right or the color uh, which is indifferent and still I'll be able to get the same answer so if all if let's say all edges are same same then there are three ways of doing it cool now what if uh, so if all the numbers are different so let's say for eight five six in that in that kind of a scenario i know that i want this edge and this edge basically the top two edges right so if i'm uh, supposed to color it with a blue red red then it has to be this kind of scenario only right any other combination won't be giving me the answer 14 so over here the maximum value i can get is 14 and i'll not be able to get it with any, any other combination now what if two of those edges have a same lower score so let's say this has weight 8 this has a weight 6 and this has a weight 6. What would happen in this case? So we are covering uh, coloring it with BRR. This would give me answer 14, right? So that's obvious. Okay. However, if I color it with, uh, color it with B and I color it, uh, color it with R, even then I'll be getting answer 14, right? I hope that's making sense. So basically I'll be having two ways. So the findings are that if all edges are same then we have two ways or oh, sorry we have three ways of doing coloring it if the two smaller edges are same two smaller or two lesser value if 
these are the same then we have two ways of doing it that's all you need for this question so now let's look at the code the code is fairly simple just requires some combina uh, combinatorics and we're good to go with that cool so over here firstly make sure that you take the right modulus value so over here the modulus is not the standard one in nine plus seven it's actually nine nine two four four three five three anyway so after that i'm taking all the triplets so i'm actually storing that in an array in a small array the only reason of doing uh, for doing that is that i want to know that i actually wanted to sort it right so sorting uh, sorting three numbers actually becomes a bit tricky or requires more line of code i guess so i actually use a vector for that then i check if all the values are same right in that case i can multiply it by 3 or i can multiply my answer by 3 that we already discuss if the two smaller values now since i have so sorted it so the two smaller values would be available in v0 and v1 so if the, uh, those are same uh, those are same then i'll multiply my answer by 2 after i'm done with this this loop i'll say that uh, from this uh, n from this uh, uh, like all the n by 3 triplets i want to select half of the triplets in order to color them with two blues and one red right so uh, the ways to select it would be ncr so i have actually a function written over here mm, yeah over here so it just cal uh, calculates me the it gives me the value of uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I could have messed it up. Let me see. Okay. So value of n over here is actually going up to thousand. Hmm. Okay. So it actually uh, actually is fine because I'm calculating the total only one. So no problem. Yeah. Cool. So. Then I'm gonna multiply it with the value ncr of n by three comma n by six, and then I'm gonna print the answer right over here. So cool, that's the solution for this video, and I hope this was an easy question and you were able to understand the intuition as well. If still you have any doubt, let me know. Always more than help, happy to help you out. Cool guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Bye bye.